<laughs> Becoming a better you can mean so many different things, whether it's eating healthy, exercising, maybe it's spending time with your family and friends. Well, sometimes that quality time with friends Ah, oh, it leads to one of my favorite events, shopping. Fashion can help us express who we are. We have Mary McElvain here from Karen's Closet. She's going to give us some fresh fashion for all walks of life. So welcome back. Well, thank you for having us now, again. Okay, so we have some wonderful pieces that you've brought in today from Karen's Closet. What kind of part of life would you say this first look goes for? Well, basically what we have here today is a look of while you're losing weight. Uh, okay. Obviously, if you eat the creme brulee a little too much, you right. may not be able to lose your weight that you're <laughs> planning on. But we have a lot of women who come in in the store weekly who say they've lost 30 or 40 or sometimes even 75 pounds. And when that happens, it creates a little bit of a dilemma. Now, losing weight is not really a dilemma, but it is when it comes to dressing because at that point you have nothing in your closet to wear. Right, nothing fits anymore. Nothing fits. And so what we have here are our first two items items and it kind of gives you a little bit of idea on what you can do on versatility and buying clothing so when you're losing the weight you don't have to buy a whole new wardrobe before you get to your end goal. The first item here we have is a little bit of neutral. I mean obviously this is very neutral palette. Um, a lot of people may say well, it's a little bland but the thing is that if you buy neutral items you can mix and match with those indefinitely and that is one of the key things that you want to consider when purchasing items for when you're losing weight is that how much can you get out of them? How, how many wears can you get out of them? We've started with a really nice dark wash jean, paired it with some nice boots, very neutral in color, and then we added a nice sweater because of course the weather is getting a little bit cooler today. And um, and just a real neutral palette. And if you wanted to add a little bit of pizzazz to this, you can add a, like an orange scarf for a line eye Fridays or things like that. Yes. And uh, the one thing that I want to point out here is that we have a belt. And this really can add a lot of versatility to your outfit. A lot of different options you can do with accessories, but the other thing is that if this sweater gets too big, say you're losing more weight and everything keeps looking bigger and bigger on you, you can add a belt and tighten it up a little bit and then the article can get a lot more use out of it. You don't have to get rid of it right away when it's too big. Definitely. And I love this necklace. Very Definitely nice. love the accessories because with, with the neutrals, you can mix up your jewelry. That's right. Okay, That's right. Over so here. we're going to move over here to our next outfit and it still kind of plays along the lines of what you would do in case you are still losing weight and you don't want to purchase a lot of different items. What we have here is a basic trench coat and a lot of people say, okay, it's fall, I have to wear browns, I have to wear oranges. You don't. Right now they're showing a lot of jewel tones. You have on a jewel tone oh. in your sweater oh, okay. already. So <laughs> what we have done here is you can even take items that you currently have from spring or summer and continue wearing them out through the fall and the winter time. And we've done a nice bright scarf with a bag here, this coach leather bag, and really kind of livens up this jacket because really by itself it's not very yeah. interesting. Definitely love the pop of color here. And the boots. And the boots. Black boots are everywhere. They you are. see them everywhere these days. So and those are And they're great really for cute. warmth. And then if it's raining, you know, if, if you have real leather, you can just wipe them right off. And they're really great alternative to, to having to uh, wear rain boots, even though there are some really cute rain boots out okay. there. Okay. Now, this is a gorgeous bag, by the way. This is a great bag. Um, this bag really is to complement this outfit okay. over here. So this is for maybe a this, new mom? This is our new mom outfit. This is something that if individuals are going back to work, say a young professional mom, and she's a little bit worried about trying to fit back into her items, Heather, you probably know a little I bit know, about you that. Know, when you have a baby and you get back to your pre-pregnancy weight, the clothes still don't fit. That's <laughs> Even right. Even if you're back to your normal weight, because things have moved. Yes. So this definitely looks very nice and roomy for that little extra inch or two you right. still need to work on. Exactly, because you're not probably going to jump right back into your pre-baby no. clothes right away. So this really does, this rouging or pleating right in front, really does hide some of the problem areas. Uh, this is a sleeveless sheath, so obviously for spring and summer it would be great. So we've added a short sleeve cardigan. Now we're probably going to want a longer sleeve cardigan since it's getting a little right. cooler, but again, the brighter colors. Add it with some nice tights, and you can really get a lot of wear out of these things. And again, the versatility is endless with this. Right. Now the the shoes are super cute. The shoes are very cute. Could you wear the boots with this look too, or would you probably just go with the heels? I would probably do kind of a little more refined boot with this, a little bit more of a, a heel to it, just to, to play up the dressy yeah. um, outfit, but you can definitely do a casual boot. Now the one thing that I wanted to point out is that a lot of mothers, they look, worry about the nursing, right. want to look for maybe a V-neck, and that will help you out a lot, oh. and a little bit more accessibility for the nursing aspect of for nursing moms. Definitely so. helpful for those new moms out there. Well, Mary, thank you so much. 
excellent, useful tips helping us become a better you. If you would like to see more ideas, go to CILiving.tv.